So jumping straight into this video, I am going to be starting off with the eyebrows. Man, if y'all been here, you been here for a minute, y'all already know. This the first thing that I do. First thing I do is the eyebrows and the eyes. Okay, y'all, so I didn't say the intro, but I'll, I, might, I might as well go ahead and say it here. So I'm thinking calling y'all royals, be a part of the royalty or something because we do need a name for y'all i'm not even gonna lie because i know like the crown i know i want to implement the kings and queens thing but i feel like everybody does that and i don't want to do like what everybody does you know but i want to implement that but i want to make it original if that makes sense so if y'all have like suggestions please leave them down below that's why I didn't do the, the original intro because I kind of want to sway away from that and make it more, I don't know. Unless y'all feel like I should just keep it. Like, let me know what y'all think. So, so I'm just doing my eyebrows here and I went in with the Anastasia, of course, because period. <laughs> and now I'm just going to be going in with the concealer to clean up my under eye. I will be going in with the concealer and this concealer is actually the nyx concealer i can't even remember what uh number it is but it comes in a little container and this is actually the brightest concealer i have next to my la girl pro concealer in toffee but yeah so i'm just going to use that to clean up my brows and then after i finish cleaning up and shaping my brows how i want them to look or pretty much just to get them decent enough to where they look pretty identical I am then going to pat all of that product in and blend it in. Now after blending that concealer in with the brush, I am just going to fluff out the endings of my brows just to give them more of a natural look. And then I did go in with this powdered foundation. I have been using this powdered foundation as to pretty much just act as my um, setting powder because I am cheap, I'm not gonna lie to you. And it's been sitting there and I'm like, we're gonna use it. So then y'all gonna see me go in with that with the beauty blender and then I'm just gonna pretty much pack that in and pat it all in. So I'm going in with my NYX primer right here. So what I was going to do, I didn't know if I wanted to, so, <laughs> so I was gonna try to set my concealer because I was gonna, I was going to try to start using the setting powder like in my makeup looks because once i'm done with my makeup looks i literally just go wipe them off after the video i don't really go nowhere but i was like i need to start getting used to wearing the setting powder and so i wanted to try it and you know you gotta let the setting powder like sit for a minute so i was like okay i'm gonna let the setting powder sit while i do my eyeshadow and so that's why i have put my primer on but that didn't work out so <laughs> i just went ahead and was like that's not going to make any sense because what I was going to do is I was going to do my eyeshadow, you know, while it was baking. I was like, there's no point in doing that because if I mess up or whatever, like, you know, you got the foundation and I'm not going to put this, I'm not going to put this shadow over this foundation. So I was like, okay, we're not going to do that. And I just went ahead and put the shadow on. <laughs> I hope that made sense, y'all. I hope that made sense. I'm trying to, like, narrow everything down and not elongate it. But anyway, so I'm just going in with the shadow. And then I was going for, like, a little black golden look. Because, you know, my the shirt I had on was black. And pretty much with the looks, I just try to find a shirt that I want to wear or a dress or whatever. And then just kind of match it and make it look good. So I was going more for like a black winged look. I really was going for a rounded look, but then I had accidentally did a winged on the other eye. And so I was like, okay, that's cute. So then we just did the, added the wing to the other side. Like kind of like the winged look. It's not a full wing. And then I just kind of blend it out because you don't want like super harsh lines on it or whatever. So I just tried to blend it out as much as possible. 
blended a little bit off camera as well and then i ended up going in with this gold shimmery color from this cargo name stay palette or whatever i ended up going in with that and then just kind of packing that in the area you know between the black i mean the area <laughs> the area that ain't got no color on it y'all <laughs> But yes, so I'm just pretty much gonna be playing with it. I've just like winged with it and was just like, a, we gonna make it look how we want it to look. Just make sure it's like blended out and it's not too harsh or anything like that. And just pretty much just make it look good. And I think uh, the shadow turned out really good. It wasn't too much and it wasn't too less. So after, you know, fluffing it out and blend, trying to blend the shadow in as much as possible and giving it that kind of faded look that I want I'm now going to go in with these lashes I don't even know what these lashes are these are just some lashes that were sent to me I just got a bunch of lashes and I was like grab the lashes that we want to use so <laughs> that's what exactly what I did and yeah I'm just gonna pretty much put my lashes on I put them underneath um because that's how I that's actually how I started doing my lashes I was putting them underneath then I started putting them on top so now it's just I put them on whichever one I feel like doing if I want to put it on on top we're gonna put it on the top and then if I want to put it on underneath or we're just gonna put it on underneath so yeah So now it's time for me to go in with my foundation and y'all already put the primer on my face. So, you know, we already did that earlier and then the, the blur and then I had the, the, the foundation the wrong way and everything. And so, yeah, so now I'm just going to go ahead and put this foundation on and I'm just going to pretty much just pat it all into my face and everything. Just trying to get it pretty much everywhere everywhere and try to just get it to blend in with my skin like as much as possible yeah all right so now time to do the concealer so and this is the part i was talking about earlier um for anybody that was confused as to what i was talking about i was just going to put the place the concealer on there and then put the powder on there because I actually don't even use setting powder. I just let my concealer go just because I don't really be doing too much, but I do need to get into the habit of using the setting powder. So that's what I was trying to do um, because, you know, you got to let it sit for a second. But I was thinking also with the letting it sit, I could just do my lips or something or just be patient, you know, be patient. But look, look it out, okay? But yes, yeah, so I'm just going to put this concealer um, on my face. I'm going to put it underneath my eyes. I'm going to put it on my forehead. going to put it where I'm putting it right. I'm going to put it on top of my top lip. going to put it on my chin. Then I'm going to put a little dot, dot of that on my nose or whatever. And I honestly try to use a less concealer. I thought I was using less, but apparently when I went to go blend this concealer in, it was not less at all. It was actually a lot because I, you know, I don't want that like, super white bright look but i still want you to like know like i have the concealer on so i just was trying to blend 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 and pat 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 it into my face and was just trying to get it in and everything and i think this one was the toffee concealer by the way but yes yeah, so i was just trying to pat 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 and, and put it all in and i'm like oh my goodness this is some highlight right here that's some highlight but i felt like it was too bright and i should have used a little less concealer than what i did it was perfect it just felt like a little too much and felt it just felt like a little bit too much it was just like just needed a tiny bit taken off from under the eyes but like the chin and the mouth part that part was good and and then the forehead it just seemed like too much right there as well so just a little bit taken off but i'm still perfecting this craft this is i am still perfecting all of my crafts with this being one of them so i'm definitely not a professional at these and i hope y'all didn't think i was a professional but yeah we're not there just yet we're on the way we're on the way 
And I know y'all can see me getting frustrated patting this in because I've just been patting, 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 patting the foundation and then patting this. But guess what we going to continue to do? Pat it. <laughs> And of course, my beauty blender for patting in this concealer is most definitely moist. Most definitely moist. You know, you know, if you know, you know. And if you don't, you need to know. <laughs> but yeah, so then after I packed all the concealer in and I patted it in as much as I could, I then went ahead and went in with the contour stick. So my contour stick is actually a foundation stick. Um... But it did, it does the job. It's actually a foundation stick. And I just put it on my, like, my cheekbone, my upper cheekbone. I think that's what that's called. And then I put it around my hairline, the perimeter of my face, and all that good stuff. And then I'm just going to blend it in with the contour brush that I have. Now, after setting that face, we are now finally going in with the switch. So this wig is a, 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 a y'all don't even know how to say that, and I'm not even going to butcher it. I'm not even going to try to butcher it. So I braided my hair off camera, and then I did my edges off camera as well. And I am just going to be putting this wig cap on my head. If you know, you know. And if you don't, you need to know. And so now I'm just going to be putting this wig. I love this wig so much. It's a headband wig, if you didn't already, you know, tell I love this wig so much, really just because it's, I like the full curly look. Oh, okay, okay. I like the full curly look, and it's just, it's giving. It gives, you know, when I don't want to do nothing to my head or I need to put my hair up, but I still need to go out. You got this, this, this wig right here. It's so good. And I didn't clip, I actually didn't clip this middle clip because I didn't feel like playing with that. Cause these nails and i was like i'm not finna no just do the side clips the back clips and the strap and we should be good to go we should be good to go but this wig would most definitely definitely be in the description i believe it came off of amazon and yeah and mind you, i think it's it should be real humans hair if i'm not mistaken yeah because when you pour water on it it curls up <laughs> y'all but yes, that will most definitely be in the description box for y'all to go and check out. Oh, she, oh, she thinks she, oh, okay. Okay. Bapuri. So you guys have made it to the end of this video. And I thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this cute little look that we did. Um, don't forget, if you haven't already, to hit that subscribe button on the screen or down below. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. You know, help a sister out, help a sister out. And I don't really think I have anything else to say. So, without further ado, stay unique. Deuces.